Amazon has shut down Inspire, which was its TikTok style feed for products, which first of all is a crazy concept, a media feed with strictly ads. Well, TikTok is basically that now, and Instagram, and Snapchat, which is partially why Amazon stopped Inspire, because they partnered with Instagram and Snapchat for faster shopping. This developer made a similar style for Wikipedia, because his brain is rotted to the point where he could only learn through scrolling a TikTok feed. I'm getting distracted, but this video is about TikTok UI, which has become the the gold standard of frictionless UI. It sucks people in and has a billion active users that alone has prompted many others to try their own at the UI, but it never works. Let's break this down on UI and UX principles. Don't worry, I'll do this quickly in a TikTok format so you can absorb it. Swiping comes from Fitz Law. Big, nearby targets swiping make actions quick and effortless. The simplicity comes from Hicks Law. Fewer choices reduce decision paralysis and users dive straight into engaging content. The no thinking comes from Miller's Law. Simple, intuitive actions within easy thumb reach, lower cognitive load. The instant reward comes from the Doherty threshold. Fast, nearby, instant content loading less than 400 milliseconds gives users control and reinforces engagement. But why has no one been able to effectively recreate it? I've got a news flash for you guys. It has. Not by directly copying TikTok style, but it has been subtly influencing websites and app design. Infinite scrolling blog and news articles, shop live commerce videos and bite-sized educational video content, which is me. Nevertheless, TikTok has latched its tendrils into overall web and app experience for better or for worse. But rather than getting all doomer on you guys, I would like to think this poses an important challenge for us developers. Leverage addictiveness carefully. Prioritize healthy user metrics over raw engagement. Make sure your changes align with target users' needs and expectations. While compelling content is important, optimizing for addiction works against users well-being. Here's the point of the video. As developers, we have to ask ourselves if we're creating tools that serve us or if we're becoming the tools. Let's challenge ourselves to strike a balance, crafting experiences that captivate without compromising well-being and technology that empowers rather than ensnares. That being said, I will still continue to create short and digestible content.